Hey folks, what's up? My name is Noah Chrysler, the RIT Newsman, and this is BrickHack 2018. We are here at BrickHack 2018. It's a hackathon. Basically, all of these different teams of hackers and coders and all sorts of designers, they all come with an idea and make a thing in 24 hours. It's this cool event with lots of snacks and very little sleep. We are here with Carl Domingo. You started this event four years ago. Can you explain um, like the general concept of a hackathon? It's an invention marathon. So students will come here for 24 hours long and just build something. They build a game, build an application. And so it's a really cool opportunity to just be like really creative outside of what you do in class. One of my friends actually built a self-driving car. So they used their own car, slapped a connect on the front of the car. It's pretty cool. It's actually a little kind of scary. We are here with Zach. Now, Zach, you mentioned that you were working on a laundry app. I had a lot of problems with laundry. You know, you'd go down with your laundry basket only to find that all the washers or dryers are occupied. We're going to use a Raspberry Pi to determine if the machine's shaking or not. I have a very quick mock-up because if we notice any problems right off the bat, they're easier to fix now before we started writing any code. Who knows in 12, 15 hours where we'll be here. We are here with Jacob Giordano. Give me a rundown of what Pixel Rush is. A boss rush game that's pixelated. Events like this, do you think they add to the overall education experience that RIT provides? Uh, definitely. I think the greatest experience of them all is working on your own personal projects. It really lets the creative side of you flow. We are here with Stefan Marchart. It's an open source uh, Python based music visualizer. And the ultimate hope is to uh, take the frequency and waveform information and have it correspond to light flashing patterns and uh, display it on uh, Philips Hue lights. So what kind of hardware are you working with? A set of uh, Philips Hue bulbs. I uh, cannibalize them from our apartment. So <laughs> when we get home at the end of Brick Act, we're going to have no lights anywhere. We are here with... Allison. We're trying to create an Amazon Echo skill that would allow you to make an itinerary with the downtime that you have over a trip. So like if you have any layovers, give you suggestions of what you're going to do on that time. We are here with Austin McCord. Now, Austin, you just gave a huge donation to RIT a couple months ago, right? I did. How do you think your education from RIT helped you in your career? Uh, so I think RIT gave me an opportunity to explore so many different areas and I worked on a project with Dr. Skuse, which is where I learned PHP, uh, which ends up being an underpinning of a lot of the stuff that actually happens at Datto. So without my career here at RIT, there's no way I would have the success that I have today. What do you think is cool about uh, hackathons or BrickHack in general? Just taking stuff apart, learning new things, uh, trying different projects. Like That's my favorite thing to do in the world and anything we can do to support it is a great thing. What problems have you run into? Beyond spending four hours slamming my head against the desk, I've uh, <laughs> finally made some decent progress with it. Can you kind of explain a little bit kind of how it works? You know, not explain it like I'm five, but explain it like I'm a two-year-old because I really don't know. At the most basic level, it's just detecting differences in volume. So if there's a huge bass drop or something, it would uh, flash much faster. <laughs> So we're back here with Zach and the Laundry app. Kind of is working. It's not connecting to any servers yet, so it's just saying that zero washers and zero dryers are available. We're making progress. How much leeway have we made hardware-wise? I've broken three devices so far. <laughs> if even a little bit of static touches this module, the whole thing breaks. I feel like laundry rooms definitely have a lot of static because there's a lot of laundry oh, in there. Wow. <laughs> uh -oh. What's the status of Pixel Rush? You're doing the art for Pixel Rush, correct? Uh, yeah, I am. Could we possibly do, like, News Monkey? He's like an evil gorilla, but he's wearing, a, like, a bureaucratic suit. He has an orange tie, and he likes to tell the news, and he has a microphone. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. Oh my god, I'm glad you're the best! So they're having me record voices for the game. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this. This is gonna be great. Rush! Rush! <laughs> Rush! <laughs> This is the last part of the 24 hours of Brick Hack, and we're about to talk to a team that created one of the most revolutionary pieces of technology I think 2018 has yet to see. My name is uh, Keshup Garamella. I am the uh, proud creator of Rate Your Dab. We're taking people's dabs from all over the web. We take your picture and we relate you to the best and brightest in the dabbing industry. 
68%! I need to get better. I need to train. We're back with a very tired Zach. Incredibly tired Connor. Uh, basically our thing is composed of two parts. We got an app and little units that look like a laundry machine. We are gonna use a vibration app on our phone to simulate a washing machine moving, and uh, the app should update, and some cool animation should appear on the machine. Oh, cool, that it talks to the app, I love it. We are here once more with Stefan Marshart. Right, hold on, Stefan, let's wave one second. Now, Stefan, you've been up all night. Give us the update. Uh, it actually works now, which is nice. It does different effects with the lights based on how loud and how close to that maximum percentage. Do you have any tips for future brick hackers? Bring a ton of caffeine and uh, be prepared to make some friends here. All right, guys, so you just won an award at Brick Hack 2018. Can you please tell me the secret to your victory? Listen, my dude, it's all about synergy. If it's shaken, it's taken. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it on your timeline, because that seriously it does help us out. The RIT Newsman is made possible by the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Their page is in the description. Go like it. If you want to attend RIT, click the first link in the description, and you can learn everything you need to know to apply. Guys, have a great day. Goodbye. That's my car, so I, I need to go get that. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> Guys! <laughs>